What's going on guys, my name is Brennan Myers, this is Taylor, and today we're bringing you a cardio and abs workout for the 30 for 30 series, so let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling, left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling, phone and progression, it's all that I wanted to all right, so because I'm an old man, I got my man Taylor here to be showing all of the movements that we're gonna be completing. Now, the most important thing is following this workout to a T, but also making the adjustments that are right for you. So if you have bad knees, or you feel like it's a little bit too hard, it's okay to come back a little bit or even push yourself a little bit further. So 30 for 30, every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we release a new video. If it's not posted, it means it's a rest or recovery day. Now, before we jump in, I wanna give you a few tips you could be following for not only this workout, but future workouts. Let's get to it. All right, quick tip number one. When you run, use your arms as much as possible. This will enable your legs to move faster. Number two, if you wanna know if you're eating the right amount of food to lose weight, I highly suggest stepping on the scale right when you wake up every morning and documenting it in your notes. Number three, just because you do cardio does not mean you're going to lose fat. Losing fat is attributed to different factors, the most important being your nutrition and caloric deficit. Number four, this is a HIT style training method, which means your output for every exercise should be 100 hundred percent number five take your greens today don't forget the link is always in the description and last but not least number six it's okay if you rest a bit longer or shorter than what's prescribed just do your best throughout the workout all right so we're gonna start off with high knees going into mountain climbers follow the rest periods and technique is of utmost importance so we reduce the risk of injury so he's gonna show you quick high knees the way that Taylor would do it okay awesome now a few different things with the way he's doing it and the way that I would like for you to make a couple adjustments so you reduce the risk of injury and make it better for your knees and everything, okay? So as he was going up, you'll notice that his foot was as so. We want to bring that toe almost up to the sky and load it. It's like loading a, a loaded position. Now, when you come down, you don't want to stomp on your heel. He wasn't doing that, which is good, but we don't want you to be in a loaded position the entire time where you're hitting the heel. We want you to be on the balls of your feet. So as you're coming up and down, it's as so. Keeping that chin tucked, and I don't mean here in full flexion, I mean just tucked and suspended back with a straighter spine. So go ahead and do it again with that the foot adjustment. Go ahead, yes. So you notice that he still wants to go into those toes coming down, but that's okay as long as he's trying to keep that toe up as he's going through it, all right? Now you can do it that way or you can do it with moving arms. So go ahead and show him that way. So you can do it either way, okay? Now we're gonna move him straight into the mountain climbers. Now mountain climbers are extremely, extremely important to follow and making sure that everything is completely tight. So you'll notice he's gonna push away from the ground and his hands are going to be slightly uh, just uh, in front of his chin or below his chin, just so, so just slightly. Now with his toes, they're gonna come in a loaded position again. So you'll notice, go ahead and, and get started. Go ahead and roll. So his toes are going to be in a loaded position as he's going through the entire movement and relax. And it's controlled. He's not trying to just bust out as many reps as possible, but that is your first superset. Okay, here we go. We're going straight into abs. So 56 inch scissors to 10 lateral plate crunches each side. So scissors, he's gonna be in a six inch position. Let's turn a little bit here. All right, you're gonna notice that his lower back is squeezing into the ground as much as possible. You see how it just squeezed his entire ab, his core, now his chin. You'll notice that originally he wants to come and flex his neck and have it a little bit higher. We just want it one inch off of the ground right here. His hands are gonna go by his side or they can go under his butt to give a little bit more stabilization, okay? Now his feet are gonna be just six inches off the ground and he's gonna be scissoring, but not too fast. So a little bit more movement, cool. And that's where it's going to be moving. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And you're gonna go all the way up to 50. Next, we're gonna move into the, the next movement here. So we're gonna be on a, in a plank position. So these are lateral plank crunches. So we're gonna keep everything tucked. And you're gonna notice he's in a complete straight line. But we wanna push as much away from the ground as possible there. That's perfect. His elbows are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart or just right under his shoulders. It's fine. And as he comes up, he's gonna shift forward, but he's also gonna shift forward this way and come back. And notice how his, his knee is actually a little bit higher and staying up. But we don't want him to turn his head at all because that's putting his spine in a bad position. Keep on going. Cool. Let's go the other way one more time high knee as much as possible if you can that high and then coming back 
perfect, and that is your superset. All right, so this superset, hit style training, it's gonna be a little more cardio based. We're gonna go lateral shuffles to figure eights. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. So lateral shuffles, essentially he's gonna be in a, a uh, athletic position. His chest is up, everything's in a neutral position, he's squeezing in his abs, everything's in a proper position there, okay? Now, what I want you to do from this position is just move one foot closer to the other. Perfect, okay, we're gonna start off from this position. All we're going to do is shuffle two steps to the right, as so, and then two steps back to the left. Now you don't want to cross over, this is not karaoke. We want it to be as so. Go ahead, one, and then one back. That will be one rep. Now you want it to be fast. You wanna go back, that's one. And you wanna be as quick as possible. Next, going into, with zero rest, figure eight. Now we wanna put two different little cones or something here about five yards apart. So one, two, three, four, five. Now what he's gonna do, Taylor, is he's gonna start from one side of the cone on the right hand side, go ahead, in an athletic position, as you can see, a little staggered stance, and he's gonna run with a little bit more high knees around, but in a figure eight position. So he's gonna be coming from the left, shuffling with fast feet, coming over here with fast feet. Now if you can use some type of a cone, great. If you can't, don't go too fast where you start slipping everywhere. So go ahead and show them. So it'll be here, fast feet around, coming here, fast feet around, and keep on going for the duration of the time. So that is your superset. I'm telling you, it's fun. You get a little bit more uh, cardiovascular work, and uh, there you have it. Okay, so Taylor's on the ground. We're doing another ab circuit. So we're gonna start off with roll-ups. Very, very simple exercise. Our feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. Our knees are gonna be flexed as so, just about a 90 degree or a little bit less angle here, okay? And then all he's gonna do is keep his chin back one inch off of the ground, and then he's gonna lay his hands on his thighs, and he's going to slightly raise up to try and touch the top of his knees. Now, notice how he's flexing a lot in his neck. We wanna relax your neck a little bit more. Boom, perfect, then come back down. This is not a movement to reach as far as possible. It's just to activate your rectus abdominis properly, okay? Then we're gonna move him straight into rockers. Now, rockers are one of my favorite exercises. So usually, if, you, if you're a little bit more beginner, you have to squeeze your, no matter, actually no matter what, you should be squeezing your knees together, feet together the entire time, okay? But you can allow your knees to come a little bit closer to your chest. As I said, if you're more beginner, more advanced, you're gonna come a little bit further out here, but not fully straight and extended of that knee. Now, his head, you're gonna notice it's gonna still be just about an inch off of the ground, but he's gonna round his, his upper back a little bit. As you can see, he just went like this, all right? Now, his hands are over his head. You can see him kind of like shaking a little bit, and all he's gonna be doing is rocking back and forth. So, he's gonna squeeze up, but notice how he's only doing his upper body. So, what, what we want him to do is get started with a little roll and then start rolling. So you'll notice his entire body is now moving in one. Now, if you see that your lower back is extending too much, that just means that you're using, you're not using enough momentum and you wanna gain that momentum. So you might wanna bring in your knees a little bit more, bring in your, your hands a little bit more and push away from the ground a little bit more so that you're rolling. There you go. And you can see he just fixed it just himself because he could, he could feel a little bit difference because his knees were a little bit too far. It may have been just a little bit too hard. So that is your super set. Okay, this set we have some sprints. Absolutely love incorporating sprints into our cardio workouts. Uh, it really just attacks those fast switch muscles and I, it, it, it's a, just a different style and I love it. So what Taylor's gonna do is just sprint 15 yards. Now, when I say sprint, I mean make sure you warm up at the beginning of this workout so you're not pulling anything and you are sprinting. If you're not sprinting and you're giving it 80%, 90% effort, Effort, you're not going to get the work that you want out of it. I promise you on anything. So Taylor, go ahead and show them. So you can get started in just a staggered stance and he's gonna go ahead and just, uh, just a quick sprint. Don't go too fast because I don't want him to pull anything. Go ahead. So you're gonna notice he's keeping everything and he's keeping that drive all the way through. And don't let up at the end, like right before the end. We want you to sprint all the way through the line, 15 yards. That's your set. All right, so Taylor is in a plank position. He's gonna be pushing away. Basically, his scaps are gonna be all the way out here and rounding his upper back, squeezing in his glutes as much as possible to keep his abs extremely tight. Now, you notice how his hands are clenched right here? We actually don't want that. We want them to be a little bit wider or push into the ground. Now, we also want his elbows to come in a little bit closer to his body so he's, yes, proper stabilization, squeezing everything. The plank is actually a full body workout, surprisingly. Now, we also want him to like lean a little bit 
bit more forward so that his his shoulder is right below or right on top of his elbow and not further back. We want to put him in the most stressful situation for his entire body to work. And that is your last set. All right, so there you have it. That is your workout for the day, 30 for 30, every single morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're coming back with a new workout you could be following. If it's not posted, it's a rest or recovery day. I would love to hear your feedback. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. All links if you want any nutritional products, greens, we got creatine, we have probiotics, we have new pre-workouts that are coming out very soon. We have a new stress product. We have a lot of really cool things happening. Links are always in the description. I'm Brennan. That was Taylor. His Instagram is right here. My Instagram is right here. And I'll see you next time. Peace.